Alrighty, well, morning everybody, and, um, I just, first off, let me start by saying that there's gonna be a fair amount of background noise. Um, I have my air conditioner running, because, um, I try to keep my apartment from becoming 80 degrees in here. I've got it down to 75 degrees right now, so I'm, I'm gonna have it on here for at least a few more minutes. And then, um, on a whim, I, uh, I typed down... YouTube, like, content creator, I was looking for something like, something like rules and regulations or something like that, I don't remember what, but, uh, in the, the results of the Google search, um, this came up, uh, it's a little bit dated, it came out about a year ago, but, uh, it's about, uh, just YouTube's guidelines, the rules and stuff like that, that content creators have to follow, um, I thought I would, I just kind of, kind of had me curious, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, do what I do on a lot of these articles. Just go ahead and um, I'm going to do running commentary on it and stuff. And also, like usual, in the background, uh, I'm going to have some music going. Um, this time around, it's going to be uh, Gothic Battleship Ambient. Um, this, it's basically ambient music. Ambience. Or, in this case, Dark Ambience. One of my favorite, uh, one of my favorite music genres. Go ahead and get that fired up. Okay, I'm just gonna say close enough. Um, and I had already read through a small part of this, so this is gonna be somewhat rehearsed. So. And I'll I'll probably say I'll probably be saying this fairly often throughout this video, but all of my works are Creative Commons works. They're all free to use. They're not being monetized. So so this one here it it doesn't apply to me. Updated guidelines. You should be paying attention to it for YouTube videos. Yup, strict three strikes and you're out. Twitch has that too, with their uh, copyright policy. Three strikes and you're out. Okay, well, well, no big deal here. Claim that the 2020 American presidential elections were rigged. I don't really follow politics much, so I don't give two shits about that. I mean, I think, you know, and I'm pretty sure there's been a lot of situations where, where the, uh, the loser was complaining that the rules are fixed or, or it was an unfair advantage, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I'm sure, you know, basically sore losers. So I'm sure throughout history, there's been a fair share of those. So a, people complaining that the elections are rigged, it don't, not, doesn't surprise me. Widespread voter fraud. Again, I don't follow politics, so this doesn't really apply to me. Um, this one here, I could see it being a bit of an issue. Now, again, nothing on my channel is kid friendly. Right, all of my stuff is is uh, adult oriented. Or legend. Violations of child children's privacy law. Um, there's... There's something I really want to say about that. It's probably going to take a while for me to say it, though. Again, all of my content is not geared towards kids. So, yeah, I, yep, whenever I make my videos, 
They're, they're always checkmarked. No, it's not made for kids. Prevent the video from running algorithm-based recommended ads triggered by prior indicate. And again, again, um, my channel is not monetized. In fact, it's it's not monetized for the sole purpose of keeping all my videos ad free. So this doesn't. Again, this I have no dog in the fight as far as the ads go. Pop up banners. Okay, but like I said, um, there was a part in this chapter here that did concern me a little bit. Yeah, great reason for concern. Yeah. Google the bias child directed content brought for children up to the age of 13. Um, okay. I'm, uh, I'm going to type something down here real quick. I don't know if you can see this right now. That's the big the big one with me is probably gonna be uh, what about content for all ages? Like as far as I know, um, some of my SpongeBob SquarePants, I think they're you know that cartoon there was directed for all ages. I think that's an actual category. You know, like E for everyone. Like it's not directed at kids like Dora the Explorer would be. That so that one so yeah this part here kind of kind of worries me a bit. So that means if I had a if I had a SpongeBob SquarePants meme that I had on one of my videos, that could fuck me over like pretty bad. I mean at least technically. Same goes for videos. I really hate the way, the way this website works. The same goes for videos classified as non-child friendly that are deemed by YouTube as containing content that is kid friendly. This is the part that bugs me. Again, um, that me, I think, um, theoretically, going back to my, uh, Spongebob meme, you know, just posting that image on one of my, say, one of my cast videos, even for a split second, that might be enough to deem that video kid friendly. If a video presents mature themes, show, okay. Um, so, so, animated. Um, does, do they mean cartoon characters? Or do the characters have to actually be animated? Like, it, like, if I, um, if I just pop, popped up an image, is that okay? Um, or does it only matter when it's actual animation involved? And once again, this don't apply to me. Once again, my channel is not kid friendly. I gotta, I gotta, 
gotta check the volume real quick. Okay, it's not too bad. Okay, um, you can define your, yeah, you can define your channel. Yeah, which again, um, it's, it's not kid friendly. Um, I think this might have changed recently. Uh, your community page, you know, I think you have to have at least 500 subscribers in order to, in order to post on a community page. So I think it, uh, that changed. Uh, you won't be able to have the bell notification turned on, which I don't care, which kind of a side note, I, this is a feature I do not give two shits about. If I like you enough, if I like you enough to want to check you out every day, I'll find you. So you don't, you won't need to, you won't need to remind me that you're on. I'll already know. Although I can't, I can't really think of any, um, I can't think of any channels that I've subbed to where I'm like that, where I want to follow you religiously. Push, push notifications are. I've heard the term tossed around, but again, don't know. And I think this is as far as I got. You know the saying, yeah, whether or not it's a cold hard fact, fake engagement prohibits creators from Sub for sub, free giveaways. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this either, so. Yep. In fact, uh, now that I think about it, I have been on the receiving end of this once in a while. So, definitely not a fan. Call to action, you implies this will like. Um, so I wonder how long, so I wonder how a channel like Panda Fighting Games, and I guess, um, uh, various other, uh, fighting game channels, I wonder how they get away with this then, because every channel, be sure to hit that like and subscribe button, that could imply it too, I mean, at least in my mind, to me, that's fake engagement. I mean, they say it after every single video. So, I mean, it's like it's like part of the script. You know, it's like, um, it's the same shit that kids and teenagers say when they're trying to sell people newspaper subscriptions. I mean, I, this is what I went through when I was a teenager. You had to go door to door and you had to, there was this uh, script you had to memorize and you had to say to every single person whose house you visited. So, in my mind, this, that's what I call fake engagement. Think of asking people to visit your channel rather than subscribe to it. I would much rather, I would, you know, I would really love to see more of this. You know. Hey guys, come check me out, you know, that kind of thing. But even then, like I said before, if I like you enough, you know, if I like you enough to give a shit about you, I'm already, I'm going to find you. You won't need to come find me. So yeah, this, this needs to go. The whole like and subscribe crap. So sick of seeing it, or so sick of hearing it. But yeah, I think this was as far as I went right here. Right when I saw this, I immediately wanted to make a video about this. Never know about this. I might have to take this into consideration, like what she's using here. 
like a selfie stick on a cell phone? And you can just like mod it on your bed or something? Okay. I, I think I might have this. I might have this like laying around somewhere. You'll need more than 100k subscribers for your channel to be verified. I don't know what verification means, but um, I doubt seriously I'll ever get 100k subscribers in this lifetime. Or in my lifetime, I should say. So, yeah, I... Yeah, I'm pretty impressive. But like I said, um... I think I have probably 50, 100 subscribers right now. And it took me about seven or eight years of uh, content creation to get there, so don't don't ever see me getting a hundred k. Um, and uh, real quick, I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab me something to drink here real fast. I'll be back. So I'm just gonna. I'm gonna drink some, uh, some of my favorite beverage, uh, Arizona green tea. Thought I was done with it, but this art, but, uh, this article came up, so kind of a change of plans. But, so, this really doesn't apply to me, but couldn't hurt to read. Wealth or elevate creators to a higher tier of ad revenue once again. I'm Creative Commons, so my channel is non monetized, so that doesn't apply to me. The cachet of air. I don't care. I tend to trust verified channels. Greatly contributes. There are a few major changes in the verification process. Here's these channels first off instead of a check badge. A hundred thousand subs to be given the content. Okay, um, I remember hearing, I remember uh, hearing and seeing stuff like this from time to time on YouTube. There's like a whole bunch of hoops you have to jump through, like the YouTube partner program or something like that. Here, let me go back up here. Oh, okay. Racking up 100,000 subscribers is no longer the sole criteria. Similar uh, the authenticity test. Um, well, I don't know. I would think a I would think a name like Joe Schmo would probably be a fairly fairly popular name. Well, probably look at some of my videos. Um. Especially on my uh, older stream videos. I mean, I'm a real figure, so a real person. And uh, there aren't a whole lot of um. Now that I think about it, there's not a whole lot of other channels named Joe Schmo. Why? Because uh, I typed when I first created this channel, I typed down Joe Schmo, just like you read, it's like a nice normal name, only one space, no dash, no underline, just Joe. Space Schmo. Apparently no other uh, no other channel out here has this. And I got this on the first try, so Um Yes one that you complete? Okay, I got a I got a description, um channel icon. 
I don't content that can be active on YouTube. Well, I I post videos on YouTube. Does that count? Content that can be. I don't understand. I don't understand what that one is. Pay attention to your video. Okay. Um. There was a video I saw yesterday by a channel called Lady Emily. Um. She talked about the uh, the Cinema Massacre backlash or something like that. Basically, the rise and fall of Cinematic Cinema Massacre. But she was talking about this too. This is why um both her title and thumbnail. She was saying this too. That's why that's why I, I noticed this too. A lot of the thumbnails look the same. You know, they got the picture of the content creator's face on one side and like various various screenshots and logos and whatnot on the other side. That's why she was Lady Emily said the same thing. Just it's to it's for the algorithm. Whereas I, whereas I kind of like my, uh, I kind of like my thumbnails to be simple. Like on my cast videos, usually it's the, uh, I usually, uh, I'm usually playing an album, playing a, you know, playing like a music album. I'll just have the uh, album cover on it and then have Joe's cast and the date that it was made somewhere, worked in there somewhere. That's about, that's about as far as it goes. This is something else too. I don't. I fucking hate it when they, when people title their videos this like. I fell off a cliff and click on to see what happened. Or I saw a three-legged dog on the street. And you'll never believe what happened. I hate that shit. Whereas I like to keep. I mean, I like to keep my videos. You know, like probably what I'll title this one: commenting on an article. And then the date that it was done. That's it. But yeah, I, I fucking hate it when people do this. The unvarnished truth about eating meat. But yeah, when I see it clickbaity, I don't click it. It was also one of the reasons why why uh, I'm no longer on Facebook, or if I am, I only I'm only on for like a moment or two. They do a lot of this shit too. I slipped and fell, and or I slipped and fell and hit the side of my skull on the curb. You'll never believe what happened. You know, shit like that. YouTube has decided to crack down on these custom thumbnails along for obvious Oh, okay, violent imagery. Thumbnails cannot mislead viewers into thinking they're about to be prominent YouTube that are banned, these bannings. Free YouTube thumbnail maker. Like, really? Yeah, it, this. Yeah, it. Not a fan of this at all. Brush up on their Photoshop skills to create custom standout thumbnails. Snack. Choose from a template. No. No. Oh wow, that's it. To 
mulch was here for YouTube. But like I like I said at the start of this video, um, this is a bit dated. Uh, 2020, 2021. YouTube and its creators wanted to make money on YouTube. And once again, my channel is non-monetized, so it doesn't apply to me. Social media voice are displeasure overall. There have been a number of members of me. Here in YouTube's 2020 guidelines. To monetize or banned. Okay. I think this might have been what I was originally looking for. Exploring alternatives to the video searching behemoth. Private hosting platforms. Analytical and lead generate. Huh? Okay, so. Um, I don't know. Hope I don't have to click on each one of these individually. We should just put everything on one page. Personation, fake engagement, additional policies. Child safety. Center. Okay, so it. Oh, get out of here. Private hosting platforms. Uh, never heard of this one. ROI is used. My video has become the weapon of choice for marketing. Cash in on. Okay, never mind. This is, um. Website, video presentation, having been. Engagement completely. YouTube video is bad enough. Like, um. I think this is probably going to be something that's better off reading on my own. So. Um, but otherwise, um, I believe that's it. Um, I pretty much said all the things that I wanted to say, covered all the things I wanted to cover in this video. So I'll just go ahead and call it good. Uh, but thanks for, um, thanks for watching everybody. I appreciate that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye for now.